guys welcome back to the channel today is sunday april the 5th it's about quarter to 10 a.m just got through running a couple of errands uh fueling up the vehicle i have the luxury of being a runner never claim to be a good runner but i am a runner and i do body weight and band work resistance and stuff like that at home uh, occasionally, if the weather's good, I can get outside and do it in the fresh air. Running is one of those sports that is definitely practicing good social distancing. I, I run by myself. Uh, I run in areas that I don't see a lot of people. And if I do run across anybody, I'm able to uh, get distance from them. As we pass each other, of course, we all want to stay out there running, so we we all practice good uh, social distancing. But that's where I'm headed now. Uh, headed downtown so I can get in six miles. I might get in more, but six is the minimum. Today was supposed to be a Red Bud Classic, a 10K event for me. Of course, that was postponed. It, it was canceled, but they postponed it until... I think June or July, I can't remember right now, but uh, today was supposed to be the day for the event. So I'm gonna go downtown, it's Sunday of course, I'm gonna go downtown and run anyway, but I am gonna be running for that. So that's why I say six miles minimum. But let me go on and uh, focus on this little bit of driving there's no traffic out good thing for that but we'll get with you guys in a little bit two miles in feeling pretty good made one pit stop just use the bathroom you know how it goes gotta make my stop by the memorial monument memorial monument always stop here always stop here Almost three miles down. I'm headed north out of downtown. Downtown's back behind me. Shooting for six. Here in a minute, I'm just gonna lock in and get it done. Not so much to just get in the miles, but trying to have productive miles. I'm on the uh, east side of the memorial. I'm getting ready to go go east now and work my way towards the uh, OU Medical District. Try to bang out these last three in a very productive way. We have to see how it goes. See. All right. Should be a pretty good thumbnail. If not, we'll make one up. Got five miles down. One more to go. Just shy of an hour. I wanted to, uh, I know I can't do a 10K in, in an hour, but at my best, about four years ago, I could do it in about 106. Let's shoot for 110 
and the only way I can get 110 is if I put the phone up and go on and focus on this last mile. I might go over six, but that doesn't bother me. As long as I can get 6.2, I'm good. All right, let's push for this last mile. I think I got the 10K in in a 6.10. I mean, I'm sorry, one hour and 10 minutes. I'm about a half a mile from my car, just walking, enjoying some of this. It's uh, overcast, but it's not raining. That's always a good thing. I wanted to uh, get out, get the miles in. I always feel good. I mean, always feel good when I get the miles in. With everything that's going on, I can still get out here I'm not really worried about muscle. I can uh, pretty much keep what I got, which is more than enough, but I definitely need to uh, continue to lose weight and continue to uh, build on my endurance. That's my biggest problem. Not really a problem. I got to look at the numbers. I think, uh, Today's 10K was probably the best one I've done in about four years. If so, I'm very happy with that. That shows that the stretching, the rolling, and trying to get 15 to 25 miles a week is really paying off. It's very scary with what I do for work, delivering groceries, dealing with drivers on the yard, dealing with people at the stores. Sometimes it's very hard to keep that distance, especially when you're trying to do your job. I can't imagine the people that's in the medical field, which is just right, I mean, right in the line of fire. I can't imagine them. I can't imagine retail, grocery stores, convenience stores, people behind the registers that see so many people every day touch all that money I have it kind of easy all I have to do is deal with a couple of drivers on the yard I'm driving in my truck by myself and then I deal with a couple of people at the stores everybody is starting to kind of get an understanding about social distancing especially at the stores but I'm, I'm very happy with what I do of course, I'm blessed to be still working. It is kind of like a job security that I deliver groceries. That is very essential, and I must stay on the job. So I wear this, and if you've seen any of my videos, seen any of my Instagram photos, I wear this in the wintertime to keep from breathing in all that cold air. Today, I wear it to keep from breathing in all that cold air. Kind of keeps my lungs healthy keeps me from getting a sore throat keeps me working stay safe definitely stay safe and we'll catch you guys on the next video peace